Okay, today uh, I'm going to cover something that is not necessarily a uh, RV related tool, but it is something that I thought was pretty cool. And for RVing, you know, the whole deal about RVing is, is space and small footprints and things like that. And uh, I do have, I'll kind of show you, I do have here at my house uh, these uh, crepe myrtles. And every year, uh, if I don't trim these back, then uh, they, they just get out of control uh, to a point where my driveway here, they're on both sides of the driveway all the way down. And uh, I, I sometimes can't even get the motorhome out of the driveway that they're not dragging on the side. Uh, and then this is what they look like when I when I trim them down. Uh, I've been cutting off uh, all of the uh, limb buds, uh, and then I basically leave them like this all winter long. And this is one year's of growth. Uh, so all of these branches and stuff, I trimmed these back last year, and uh, and they they just sprout like crazy. So so I cut them back and. Uh, you see, I've got uh, one, two, three of these uh, done. So I have a uh, love-hate relationship with my uh, chainsaws. Uh, the first tree over there I cut with my chainsaw and I, and I kept it running just long enough to get that tree done. And then, uh, then, it would, then I couldn't get it started. And I, I just, I hate it when an engine just won't start. So I had seen uh, one of these uh, on Amazon and uh, it is actually I'll kind of show it to you it's actually a mini chainsaw with a clamp to it and uh, it's electric uh, so there's no gas motor to to contend with made by Black & Decker so it's got to be good uh, but it has these two handles and you see the clamp or the jaw on it you know kind of grabs the limb and you have to have your hand on both handles for it to work all right and because it's electric and then and because i'm down here uh in the driveway uh away from from the house uh, i actually have set up my predator 3500 inverter generator and uh, we'll start it up and uh, i'll show you how this thing works Get the generator going and then I'll put you over here and I'll show you how I trim this tree
So you see, it's electric, no gas motor to contend with, fairly safe because everything is covered. And, uh, and yeah, I was cutting some of these that are probably three inches in diameter. And uh, so uh, for this, again, <laughs> like I do everything, bought it through Amazon. I think it was about $85. I'll put a card up to show uh, what I paid for it. But this thing, for this type of job, is actually the perfect tool for doing this. Uh, it's going to take me a while. Uh, it is a lot of overhead work, uh, but it, it should go pretty quick. And my uh, 3,000 watt, 3,500 watt Predator generator is the perfect tool for providing electricity. And as you heard, this thing doesn't have any draw on the generator at all. So uh, it ought to be pretty good. So anyway, I just wanted to show that. Not exactly what you would think is an RV tool, but you think about it, you know, when you're out RVing and you want to cut up a little firewood and, and stuff like that, you know, most, most often than not, you don't go dragging a big log up into camp, but uh, you know, you go uh, gathering branches and and stuff like that, bring it into camp. This thing would would chop them up to firewood pretty pretty easy, and it's pretty small. So uh, we'll definitely be taking this uh, RV camping with us.
Well, I have about half of them done, but that does take quite a bit of arm pressure and, and squeezing pressure. So uh, I think I'll put the rest off till tomorrow. Get my strength back. Thanks for watching. Bye.